topic of geometric progression paper 1 SPM every year there are one or two questions based on geometric progression in SPM paper 1 now in the geometric progression these are the main formulas that are required now, T n, the n term equals to A times R to the power of n minus 1. A is the first term. R is the common ratio. Okay? And S n equals to A times R to the power of n minus 1 over R minus 1 when R is more than 1. When R is less than 1, we apply this formula. Okay, and this formula is applied for sum to infinity. A over 1 minus R, where R is more than negative 1 but less than 1. But R cannot be equal to 0. Okay, now the engine room of geometry progression is the common ratio. How do we find the common ratio? The right term divided by the immediate left term. The right term divided by the immediate left term. Okay. That is the common ratio. Okay. Here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2006. Okay. You are given that the fourth term of a of a geometric progression is 2 and the sum of the fourth and fifth terms is 3 so I have written for you like this A is the first term R is the common ratio so we write it like this this is the fourth term this is the sum of the fourth and fifth terms okay part A you are supposed to find the first term and the common difference okay let's see how we do it okay if you look carefully here equation 2 the common you take out the common factor that is a r q what do you get 1 plus r equals to 3 okay this is the same equation actually this is the same equation you see a r cube times 1 a r cube a r cube times r you get a r to the power of 4 okay this is still equation 2 okay now what you do is equation 2 divided by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1. 2 divided by equation 1. Okay, what do you get? A R cube bracket 1 plus R over A R cube equals to 3 over 2. Get it? This is 3, this is 2. Okay, now, you cancel the common factors. That is, A R cube, A R cube, cancel. What do you get? 1 plus R equals to 3 over 2. 1 plus R equals to 3 over 2. From here, R is equal to 3 over 2 minus 1 equals to 1 over 2. That is the 
value of R. Okay, you get it? Now, you take this value of R, you substitute here. Here, into equation 1. In order to find the value of the first term A. So, A times 1 over 2 Q equals to 2. A times 1 over 2 Q equals to 2. Therefore, therefore, A times 1 over 8 equals to 2. A is equal to 8 times 2, 16. The first term is 16. Okay, that is part A answer. This is part A. Okay, part B. Part B, you are asked to find the sum to infinity. Sum to infinity. So you apply this rule. So, sum to infinity is equal to A, 16, over 1 minus, what is R? R is half. So, 16 over half is equal to 32. That is your answer. Sum to infinity. I hope you have got it. You see? You apply step by step, step by step. Just be careful. You can arrive at the answer. Have confidence. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Don't worry. You can do it. See? Past year questions are quite simple. Don't worry. I hope you have got it. Okay? Thank you. I have for you is another clone question based on the year 2008 geometric progression okay what is the question you are given three consecutive terms like this negative a to p of a geometric progression find the value of p all you need to do is apply the technique of getting the common ratio. How do you get the, the common ratio? The right term divided by the left term. Now, this technique combines three or four terms. Remember that. Okay. P over 2 equals to 2 over negative 8. See? Right term divided by the left term equals to right term divided by the left term. Now you take this to up here. You get P is equal to 2 over negative 8 times 2. So you get negative half. That is your answer. The value of P. As simple as as that. See, just the technique of common ratio. The right term divided by the left term. Very simple. I hope you have got it. Thank you. I have for you a question based, a clone question based on the year 2005. So this question is a mixture of AP and GP. Okay? A question in paper 1, SPM. Okay, let's see. You are given the first three terms of a progression. Okay? 3P27. Now, part A, what is the value of P if it is an arithmetic progression? So, 
If it is an arithmetic progression, then we are dealing with common difference. How do we get common difference? The right term minus the immediate left term. You apply this technique, you can combine three or four terms into an equation. Okay. Now, if it is an AP, P minus 3 is equal to 27 minus P. Right minus left, right minus left. Negative P, bring to this side, P plus P to P equals to negative 3, 3 you bring to the other side. 27 plus 3 is 30. Therefore, P is equal to 15. Very, very easy. Very simple. Okay. Part B now. Part B. Part B. If it is a GP geometric progression, what is the value of P? Now, in geometric progression, what is the engine room? The common ratio. How do we get the common ratio? The right term divided by the left term. Okay. So, P divided by 3. P divided by 3 is equal to 27 divided by P. See, whenever you do or you write equations, always write it in such a way that you don't, your steps are not very long. You see, I put P on this, the P over 3 I put on this side. So I cut one step less. You see, so P times P, P squared, is equal to 27 times 3, that is 81. So P is equal to square root of 81, that is 9, because they want the positive value of P. That is your answer. So you don't have to worry, you just remember the basic formulas which must be applied and try and apply it at the appropriate places where it is needed. Now, if you make mistakes, it is all right. In mathematics, it is all right to make mistakes. It is only that you should not make mistakes in the exam, in SPM. So, my advice is practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do additional mathematics. Prove to them you can do it. Believe in yourself and practice. I'm, I assure you, you can do it if you want to do it. Thank you.